Hey everyone, my name is Jamie, and in this video series we'll be learning the very basics of making a Bixby capsule from scratch. If you're watching this series, I'm assuming you're completely new to Bixby, or you just want to brush up on some concepts for creating Bixby capsules. So for this first video, I created the most basic capsule I could think of. And just to give you an idea of what we're about to do, I have a completed version of it up on my screen. All it does is that it takes in a sentence, it checks to see if that sentence has the word complete in it, and displays a message saying whether or not you found that word in the sentence. I'll run the Bixby simulator to show you what it will look like once we're done. Now let's go ahead and remove all of this and we'll go ahead and start fresh. To start off, we click Create New Capsule on the home page you'll see that we have to give it a namespace and a capsule name. To explain the difference between the two, namespace would be where you'd put your company name, whereas capsule name would be where you'd put the project that you're working on for that company. But that's something you only have to worry about once you want to submit to the marketplace. For now, we're just learning, so let's just go ahead and call it playground.playground. .playground. I'll go ahead and hit create and we will begin. When we create a new capsule, we get three things, an empty folder called code, an empty folder called resources, and a capsule.bxp file. We really don't have to worry about that file just yet. It's just filled with metadata about this project, such as the ID we just created and what version it is. So we can just go ahead and ignore that for now. So before we start dealing with these two empty folders, we need to make a very important folder here in the root of our project called models. So let's go ahead and make that right here. And inside the models folder, we need to create two separate folders, one called actions and one called concepts. To explain the difference between the two models that Bixby will be dealing with, the action models are things that the Bixby capsule can do such as searching for text or calculating numbers. Whereas the concept models represent the things we'll be dealing with, such as a string or text or a number. So as I explained before, all we're doing in this capsule is searching for the word complete in a sentence. So for something that simple, all we really need is a search action to interact with a text concept. I'll start off by creating the search model. Just right click on the actions folder, click model, and make sure it's set to action. And let's go ahead and call it my search. I'll go ahead and give it a quick description just so I know what this action does. Something I want to point out real quick, this yellow error is asking me to choose what type of action I want to set this to. Even though actions default to search, which is what we want, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a type of search. A nice trick to see all the options you can use inside of the type parameters is that you can hit the control and space button at the same time to see all the different types of actions you can set this action to. Since we are just searching, I'm just going to go ahead and set it to search. So right here we have this collect section in our code. This tells the action all of the information we need to collect. We need to fill it out with the one concept we are grabbing. So right here, input will be the word that I'm looking for in the sentence. So I'm just going to go ahead and name it the word. The word needs to be of type text, but I haven't actually created that concept yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So right here, we need to go ahead and right click on concept, click models, select text type, and let's go ahead and call it my word concept. Go ahead and hit enter. And I'll go ahead and write a description so I know what this is for. So now this word will be of type text. Now let's go ahead and go back to our action model and fill out this information. We just take this section right here and we fill it out with my word concept. And let's go ahead and fill out the output with my word concept. 
So now that we have our models, let's go ahead and create some NL training for them to interact with. To do that, we right click on the resources folder, click training, and then we go ahead and hit enter here. No need to change the name or anything. NL training is what we use for Bixby to not only help our Bixby capsule understand what kind of sentences humans will give it, but to also understand how it needs to interact with those sentences. I'm wanting to find the word complete in a sentence. So let's give it a sentence, did we complete this project? So right here we have a goal, which needs an action. So all we need to do is give it the only action we have, which is my search. And I want Bixby to look for the word complete. So I'm going to click on the word complete and apply the only concept we have, which is my word concept. It lets Bixby know that we need to be searching for a type text and that this is the text that we need to find. But we're not done yet. We have to add some JavaScript code to our empty code folder. To make a JavaScript file, just right click on the folder and select JavaScript action. I'm going to name my JS file after my action so that I know that they are connected. This is a really good practice if you have different types of functionality that require different JavaScript files. But for this project, we only need this one JavaScript file. We have now generated a template for a JavaScript file that we have to fill out. Remember how in the action, my search, I set input to the word? We're actually gonna use that in the parameters. This code will be very simple. I create a variable called ret. I check to see if the word is equal to complete. If it is, then I set the variable to a sentence saying how we finish this capsule. If it's not, then I just set it to a different sentence and I return it. Lastly, to connect everything together, we need to create what is known as an endpoint. So to create that, all we have to do is right click on the EN folder and select the endpoint option. From there, we can delete this bit of code because we don't need it. Now let's break down the information that we have to apply. For action endpoint, we only need the one action that we have, which is my search. The accepted inputs represent the parameters being passed into it, so just like in the input from my search model and the parameters in the mysearch.js, use the thing we created called the word. And finally, we need a local endpoint, which will be the JavaScript file. Thankfully, we only have one, so let's just go ahead and write that here. So now, we can test out our code in the Bixby Simulator. We have two options to do that. We can click on this little phone button at the bottom left of Bixby and type out the sentence in the simulator, but I prefer to use this button next to the NL training to instantly run the simulator with the training I created. Let's click the button for, did we complete this project? And as you can see, we passed. So to recap, we start with the NL training, give it the sentence, did we complete this project, have its goals set to the action, my search model, and have the word complete set to the my word concept. This tells Bixby to send the word complete to the mysearch.js file. The JS file returns the sentence, you finished your capsule, good job. And in the end, it displays that sentence.